Right now, when you're opening files in Teams, you may notice that it opens inside of Teams using the web app version for that file. For example, I just opened up a PowerPoint and I can tell that it's the web app version of PowerPoint because my options are a little lighter than what they would be in the desktop version. Now, my first tip before I tell you anything else is that if you look in the lower right hand corner of your menu, you can actually switch from that simplified ribbon to a classic ribbon, which makes it look a lot more like the desktop version of PowerPoint. But you still may be missing some add-ins and some other functionality that you depend on when you're working with your office files. So if that's the case and you've opened a file that you need the desktop version uh, for, you can just click on open in desktop app at the top of the file. So when you do that, it does launch the desktop version, in this case of PowerPoint, and then I can use the full features and functionality of that desktop app and autosave is on. So it's pushing back in real time as I make changes. Now that's not always gonna be what you wanna to have to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the file on the desktop and in Teams and I'm back in my library. So before I open it this time, what I'd like to do is actually just right click it and notice I have an open option on my menu. So when you select that, notice it says edit in Teams is the default. And that's why it's opening up inside of the Teams wrapper. So I can make a few changes, maybe just look at the document and then go straight back into my chat or maybe my calendar to join a meeting. Um, however, notice when I do right click and get that open menu, I can choose to open an app or open in browser. Now open in browser is a lot like opening inside of Teams, except it's gonna open without the Teams wrapper, of course. So it'll be the same editing experience using that same web app platform, uh, but I won't be able to easily get to my chat and calendar when I'm finished. So those are two very similar experiences. And the different one here, of course, is open an app where it's gonna do exactly what you just saw, where it's gonna launch PowerPoint, but this time I didn't have to open up the uh, Teams version first. All right. Now notice once I finished editing in the desktop version, it's asking me, hey, we noticed you opened in desktop. Do you always wanna do that? And from here, I might go ahead and say yes, if I do wanna change my default opening behavior, or if I was just doing it for this one file because I needed advanced functionality just this one time, I may change it to just once because I do like that convenience of being able to edit and view files inside of Teams and not jump in and out all the time. So I'm gonna say just once. Now, if you do need to permanently make the change so that all your files are constantly opening in the desktop version, you can do this a couple different ways. Now, first, I'm going to right click the file again, go to open, and I have an option here to change the default. So when you click on change default, then just change it to desktop app and click save. So that's one way. And then when you open up a file, it's going to launch PowerPoint right away. No right clicks, no waiting, no opening the file in Teams first and then having to click anything. So it saves you a little bit of time and several clicks there. Now your other option is to go up to the upper right hand corner and choose your settings ellipsis, then choose settings. And then on the left hand side, you'll notice an option for files. Okay, from files, you can change your dropdown uh, to Teams, which again is inside the Teams wrapper, browser, which is the same experience without the Teams wrapper, or what we've just done, the desktop app. And that's gonna change all of your file opening behavior for Word, PowerPoint, and Excel going forward until you change the setting again.